Hi, we're at Queen Mary University. Do you consent to the interview? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Would you date a trans woman? No. No. Why? Um, not into them. When you say not into them, what do you mean? Um, I'm into straight women. You're heterosexual? I'm heterosexual, yes. And you, sir? Uh, same, I'm religion. Am I allowed to ask what religion? You don't have to answer. Uh, Christianity. Christianity. So in the Bible, you live your life by the Bible, the commandments, it's a sin, and you're, you're, the way you live your life is that God created man, God created woman, and you're heterosexual. Is, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. When you, when you say religion and you mention Christianity, that's what you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. We good? Hi, we're at Queen Mary University, and we're asking male students whether they date a trans woman. I have to ask, firstly, do you consent to the interview? Yeah. Fantastic. Would you date a trans woman? No. Why? No comment. No comment. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Would you date a trans woman? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Finally. Why? Uh, I don't know. I've never thought about it, but I thought, why not? Yeah. But essentially, we talk about top and bottom surgery. Obviously, we know that there's a rise, a huge spike in those people mm. identifying as transgender. Yeah. So, XY chromosome born biological mm. male at birth, you would, again, not assuming your orientation, mm. you would date a, or marry, date, marry a trans woman. Yeah, I still think so. Would you date a transgender woman? I dated transgender women. So, biological man, uh, XY chromosomes. Again, I hope I've got that right. No. Why not? I am an African, so I consider I'm a very traditional. I'm very traditional, so and I, it will be somebody I can present to my parents can be my girlfriend. Sure. Yeah. And is that so? Is that preference? And you're saying you're heterosexual male, or is that religious? It's not religious. It's natural because I, I will consider that person as a man. Biological male? Biological male, yeah. So, so I'm not so sophisticated to that. So are, are, are you suggesting that you're heterosexual, your, ori your sexual orientation is heterosexual? I'm heterosexual 100%. And for somebody who transformed from a man to a woman, I have not, I have not grown up to accepting such as a man, as a woman. Because they, they'd be a biological male with XY chromosomes, you can't, they can't reproduce, you can't have children. So it doesn't matter how they present as a woman. We've heard a lot of men today say, well, it would depend how they present as a woman, how feminine, how female they are. And they've, neg they've neglected to, 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 to focus on the point that they are biological male. It would be registered in my mind that this person was a man. <laughs> so I, I won't be able to, to think of that. Sure. Makes sense. Thank you. Amazing. Would you date a trans woman? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. So, uh, Would you date a trans woman? No. Why? Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah. What are you not sure about? Um, it's just I haven't met one, so I don't know like what it's like and how the vibe will be. So... You never know, though. So what I find interesting when I ask this question is it's completely a transparent question, but a lot of people don't say to me, could you tell me what a trans woman is? Because if someone asked me at my age, I wouldn't necessarily know. Yeah. A trans woman is a bi is born biological male. Yes. And that's not hateful or discriminatory. The LGBT lobby would, would, would argue that. But what they then argue, and this is why we interview like this, is that gender and sex are two different things. So I think, like, if you're, like, uh, born a man sometimes you have more like chromosomes of women so most probably you'll be like more in the feminine side of the man sure so maybe feminine, if feminine like sports like that then I I totally agree with that but however if you're like a guy and then you want to be in the like you know everyone's doing it I want to do it as well then I wouldn't consider it as correct as being a transgender but if you're born like that then I would totally agree so that's a really diplomatic and great answer but it, but so you're absolutely right. When I was growing up, a girl who was a tomboy was considered a tomboy. She wanted to play football or rugby or rounders or dress more boyish or whatever, have a short haircut. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that her chromosomes were XX and that male was XY. So my question becomes this. If they hadn't had bottom surgery, if they still had a penis, they're a biological male. It's not a loaded question. Would you date a trans woman? Hmm. You're saying you're open-minded, you need more thought process. Yes. My, my answer would be no, because I'm not, I'm not homosexual. So I'm not, I'm not dating a biological male. I don't care how pretty she is, what part of the world she's from, okay. I'm not dating a biological male. I'm not marrying a biological male. Okay. Would you date a trans woman? No. Why? If I knew 
she was a trans woman. I wouldn't date her simply maybe because of the social stigma, to be honest, around it. It's not a personal thing. Uh, it's just probably because of those, I don't know, social psychological pressure behind it, probably. For you, for you or for the trans woman, sorry? For me. For you. Can you expand on that when you say social pressure or stigma? I think people uh, are not yet able to adapt uh, the views of like uh, people changing gender. It's not something that has been yet normalized in that sense. So I think people like me still consider that a transgender person would not be the same as you know just naturally born biological female. Yeah. Because a transgender a trans woman is a biological male. That's mm. the even even the LGBT lobby say that as well. Mm. But what they're saying is that gender and sex are two separate things, which is why we asked this question. Would you date a trans woman? No. no. Why not? Because of my religion. And you sir? Same reason. Um, without inquiring about what your religion is, we speak to a lot of people asking the same question and they say the same thing for religious reasons. Yeah. So in terms of the Bible or the Quran, or what, again, I won't presume your religion, what aspect of the teaching of the scripture points you to say, no, I wouldn't date? Because uh, the nation of Hazrat Lut was destroyed because of uh, transgenderism and it's considered to be a great sin in Islam or to be bisexual or transgender and I'm a practicing Muslim not maybe like very much practicing but I know a bit about my religion so that's why sure. I do not consider considering bisexual or transgender and you sir so basically <clears throat> in my religion so I, I know that transgender is a different thing but being bisexual is a whole different thing you know so if you're a bisexual, it's considered haram in our uh, like, uh, religion. Mm. And uh, I won't date a transgender because like, of my morals and all. And, uh, and the bisexual stuff, uh, I, I don't want to date anyone who's bisexual because of my ro morals and my religion. Yeah. So when I hear things about morals and religion, what I'm hearing is that you are a heterosexual male, you are a heterosexual male, and you identify a trans woman as a biological male with XY chromosomes, and you are not homosexual, therefore you wouldn't date or marry a trans woman. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Right, we're at SOAS University asking students, asking male students whether they would date a tra date or marry a tra transgender woman. I have to ask, do you consent to the interview? Yeah, yes. Sure. Fantastic. Would you date a transgender woman? Um, I'm gay, so probably not, but definitely transgender man. Yeah. I'm so okay. I'm going to have to do my own math now. You have to forgive me. Okay. So, so your oh, so I don't presume anyone's or orientation, and I also have no gay doll whatsoever. Yep. But uh, <laughs> so you're openly gay, yep. and a transgender woman is a biological male. It's correct. X Y chromosomes. Uh, born born biological male. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay. by definition, then you would be. Uh, you would, even though they were presenting as a, um, you have to help me out here a bit. If they were um, presenting as a woman, yeah, but and and you know, bottom surgery as well as top, etc. The fact they were a biological male, as a gay as a gay man, you would potentially consider dating. Um, I think I'm open to anything. I wouldn't say uh, no to anyone based for anything, but I think primarily I'm attracted to um, male kind of. Uh, I don't know the word is here, like traits, behaviour. So if, she, yeah, if, if it so was a feminine transgender woman, that yeah. might not be. Yeah, exactly. That would be, that probably wouldn't be the cards for me. So would you date a trans woman? Uh, personally, my personal preference would be no. Okay. Why? Um, just like religious, moral values and stuff like that. So I think um, people they have uh, a misunderstanding when it comes to preferences. So me not preferring a certain gender does not mean that I hate the gender or anything like that. It's so. not discriminatory to be heterosexual? I don't think so, no. 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 So if, if, uh, if I was speaking to a Catholic or Hindu or a Muslim and they said for religious reasons, I am I wouldn't date a trans woman, yeah. a bi biological man who was born with XY chromosomes, traits, behaviours, upbringing, I wouldn't date a biological man, therefore I'm heterosexual, that's not discrimination. That's not discrimination, no. no. And we should be allowed to celebrate heterosexuality along with... Um, other people's right and freedoms to live how they want? Uh, definitely. I think all, se all sexualities, you should be able to celebrate them. Um, just because, you know, heterosexuality is the, is the norm doesn't mean it's, 
they can't be like thrown away or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. And a man and, and, and forget religion for a second, man and woman can produce children. Yeah. The continuation of our species. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I think that's that is um, the you know that that is biology mm. that men and women procreate. That's just scientific fact. You mentioned biology. If scientific fact and if, if facts no longer matter, if logic, reason, scientific fact no longer matters, it means that feelings and identity come into it very much yeah. rather than solid biology, facts, and what Western civilization is built on. Would you date a trans woman? Uh, no, I wouldn't. And that would be because of uh, religious reasons. I'm a strong Catholic believer, and that is unfortunately against my religion. Just my take on it, yeah. So obviously, uh, we get a lot of our religious orthodoxy saying no, and then obviously it's my job to ask what in the Bible or the Quran is, for example, it listed when we say no for religious reasons. Is there anything? If someone asked me the question, I'd say I'm heterosexual. I'm not homosexual. So the answer is no. Okay. That's my choice to live in a free society. I'm allowed yeah. to say that. When you say no for religious reasons, is there anything in particular? You mentioned you're a Catholic. Yeah. Is there anything Catholic. in particular in the Bible or in your teaching with family, with friends that, that, that produces the answer of no, I wouldn't date a trans? Well, back to the point of it technically being a biological man, it technically would be gay in the Bible. So that's, um, yeah, that's basically what it is. For the me. Bible says it's a sin. Yeah. Yeah, and we are, we are um, prohibited find we choose to be follow the Ten Commandments and we believe in heaven and hell yeah. so for religious reasons you'd say no so, yeah. well done mate thank you. thank you would you date a trans woman no why in my religion in religion is no it's just a no may I ask you don't have to answer may I ask what religion you are Muslim so for religious reasons whenever we speak to Muslims they say no automatically Catholics they said Hindus they say no automatically are there any other re reasons outside of religion why you wouldn't no so, so it goes against your yeah. norms values your way of life your yeah. standard you want to have a family one day yes of course and a trans woman I believe is a biological male born at birth yeah. true so reproductively she's not actually a woman so you yeah, right. I've, yeah, trans woman, so biological male at birth, so XY, XY chromosome. So that's yeah, a, if you sure. want to have a family, that's a, that's a factor. Yeah, it, of course it is. And it's not hateful or discriminatory to say that, yes, adoption is fantastic. I'd love to adopt, but I also want my own no, children. I prefer my own children, yeah. Oh, you want your bloodline? Yeah, of course. Thank you, mate. Would you date a trans woman? Uh, no. Why? Well, I think uh, in terms of what I find attractive, um, in my experience with trans people, um, there's certain uh, physical aspects that I don't see in trans people that I see in a biological woman. Sure. And that's personally what I find attractive. And why, why do you find the traits you're referring to, why do you find those attractive? Because I think um, growing up as a, as a woman or as a man influences, I think, your personality, personality and also how you carry yourself differently. Sure. Don't date people just to date people. I date people. I mean, the end goal for me, I guess, as a man, sure. would be to settle down and of have course. a family. With sometimes we tend to overlook the fact that innately humans have instincts, and in the long term, you know, and the instinct is to reproduce with someone, and like I said, uh, settle down and have family. And I think at the end of the day, that's what's gonna, that's it's really gonna matter, and long term for someone I think that's just the most important and you can't do that with a biological male would you date a trans woman well I haven't really come across one yet so I wouldn't know until I get into that so sure so yeah that's a great answer apologies so let me be clearer hypothetically theoretically that the, the, we, 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 we wouldn't know I still wouldn't know I have to get in that situation to actually know that better okay so so the the, the the reason why we ask the question is because the trans lobby say that if, if you identify as a female, you are female. That's, that's their mantra. Okay, fine, there are people out there who are questioning that. So we're trying to unravel the logic and the reason behind it because apparently there's more than two genders and sex and gender is different. So obviously we have to start unpacking this because there's societal implications. So for example, I wouldn't date a trans woman because I'm not homosexual. So for example, trans woman is a biological male. And everyone sort of agrees with that. But of course, if you start saying that sex and gender are different things, mm -hmm. so that's just my opinion. And I'm lucky to live in a country where I get to say that. Would you, as a male, and I'm not going to uh, imply anyone's orientation, that's not relevant to me, would you, as a male, date a trans woman? Well, 
most likely I think I might not. But again, it's kind of really in politically incorrect to say that. So I just I, avoid that question as much as I can. Oh, I understand that yeah. this is why we specifically film with, with students, mm -hmm. because we think at universities free speech should reign supreme. But I notice that you say that it's not politically correct to yeah, say that. that but so if you are, I'm assuming you're heterosexual from what you've said. Yeah. I'm, when I speak to um, uh, Muslim men, it's, it's an obvious answer. Yeah, that's, Catholic that's men, it, right. But it's very important to understand the reasoning behind it. So a side of political correctness, which we stand against massively as an organization and as journalists, we're looking for free speech. Would you, would you date a trans woman? And if not, why not? Well, uh, as I said, I haven't really gotten the situation yet, but I still, I think, I think I would have to guess I probably wouldn't. But that's my personal preference. Of course, which is completely, uh, completely your right. Yeah.